All right, what's up, YouTube? So, <clears throat> I guess since this is kind of a vlog, I figured I'd tell you guys a little bit about my life right now. We, we get a lot of people that ask us, like, how do we find the time to hunt as much as we do? And the fact of the matter is that we just prioritize it. You know, it's something that we really care about. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's hard to find the time to do it, but if you really want to, you make it work. And today's a perfect example of that. The last two weeks have been crazy. Uh, I'm taking a new job starting on Monday. Last weekend, we were in Wisconsin. I had a bunch of things I had to get done for work, but we left Thursday night, uh, stayed for a long weekend, scouted our asses off in Wisconsin, came back uh, Monday, worked for the last two days. I just submitted a report that had to be done before I left, and today was my last day at my old job, and now, we're heading out to hunt a quota, one of our favorite places to hunt here in Florida. It's a four-day hunt. Uh, but since I'm starting a new job on Monday, somewhere in there I had to find time to move. So right now I have a U-Haul behind my truck. I'm heading to the new place, which is north of here, moving to West Palm. I'm going to unload this stuff and immediately continue on uh, north to this quota WMA that we're going to be hunting. Hopefully putting in all this work and stressing as much as I do trying to make this stuff happen pays off this weekend uh, We know there's some really nice bucks in that uh, particular area that we're gonna be hunting So fingers crossed that we get to meet up with one of them this weekend And uh, I'm gonna make all this stuff happen. So See you guys out in the woods Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down.
actually in a really nice spot. I couldn't get him on, uh, on video, at least I don't think I did. I tried. He was about 300 yards out. And then I had a doe come by about 120-ish yards out. We're going to get down early. I'm actually packing up right now because the afternoon major time starts at 1 to about 4 o'clock p.m. So I want to be in here for that. I also want to move my setup about 300 yards north closer to where I saw that buck. Oh, because I saw one deer there doesn't mean they're passing there all the time, but I do know that when there's smell of other deers in the area, typically deers will use those trails, so. What's up, guys? So, it is the afternoon now. It is hot. Um, came out here a little early. It's like 2.30 right now. Normally, when it's this hot, I'd probably wait a little bit, but, uh, the moon phase suggests that uh, the major feeding time, major movement, is going to be uh, from like 1 o'clock to like 4.30 or something like that. So I figured no point in sleeping in the truck. Might as well sleep in the stand. So um, at least there's a solid breeze. It's blowing pretty good. It's blowing straight into my face right now. Um, so I'm going to glass this, uh, this Goldberry Flat. There's got to be a deer moving around in there somewhere. They're just really hard to spot because, uh, the Goldberries are pretty tall. But, um, <clears throat> there's fresh rooting all around me. So there's a pretty good chance I'll see a hog this evening, maybe. And, uh, who knows? Maybe a big buck will come by.
I flinched when I released the arrow. I shot right over his back. So, I'm set up on the west side of uh, this same field that I was hunting yesterday. It's a really cool spot. There's some really good trails. Only downside, I'm surrounded by hunters. I had two different hunters coming through this morning. And the best trail I've got is right here on my left. It's covered in tracks, and uh, they both came in from opposite directions, and then went down that trail in opposite directions. So they're basically cutting off the traffic from both sides. So now, my best opportunity is going to be coming off of the field here. And that's where my wind is blowing. <clears throat> so, not looking great. But, uh, it's really more of an observation sit anyway. I'm just gonna glass this field. And if I don't see anything good, I'm gonna head over to where Danny and Alex are hunting. They've been seeing a lot of deer. Decided to come back to the area where I had that six point come through. Might have been a seven point, I don't know. <clears throat> so last time I was set up a little ways back here, about 80 yards. Problem was that uh, my wind was blowing the opposite direction. It was blowing in this direction and uh, he was working down this trail. So. <clears throat> I don't think he really knew what was happening. I don't think he realized, like, I was a human. He just knew something was wrong. And, um, so he spotted me and took off. But now I'm set up, uh, in shooting range of the trail that he used. So I'm hoping he or another buck or deer or hog, anything, comes out here. There's a bit of a oak hammock to my left, like a little strip which normally I would expect them to be using. But I happen to know that a couple of hunters have been hunting back this way, and they've been using that strip to get back there. So I think their scent is all over it, and I think that's the reason that buck decided to walk through the field here. There's a ton of active trails here, lots of food. I'm actually sitting about 30, 30 yards away from where I shot that eight point last year. Essentially kind of cool. I've never 
I've never really seen this spot from this angle before. It's a really cool habitat. There's a lot going on, so pretty excited for this sit. Finally got some good moon phases. It's uh, supposed to be peak feed time from like 3.30 to like 6.30. I'm sure it'll be just that much better tomorrow, but we work with what we got. It's the way of the weekend warrior. Anyway, deer should be kind of up on their feet right now. So I'm going to stay quiet, do some glassing. Hopefully we see something soon. Hey y'all, I just shot a hog. It's not even 10 yards away from me laying right there. The first shot was, I was kind of worried. I was afraid that it was gonna catch my wind. It was facing right to me. So I tried to slip it right between the shoulder blades. It was like 15 yards. Got a little too close to the spine, nailed the spine. It dropped it in its tracks and uh, it crawled into some really thick stuff so I couldn't see vitals. That really sucked. It, uh, it definitely, definitely took a little longer to die than I would like, but it finally gave me a clear shot on the vitals. I put one through the lungs. Well, that's two arrows down. Those are both broken for sure. So, gotta go buy me some more victory arrows. Those things are nasty. It's still super early. Both shots didn't touch long, or didn't touch guts. So, I'm gonna leave it lay for a second. <laughs> you filming him peeing? A little bit. You shake it more than three times, it's uh. Yeah. Alright, so what are we doing out here so late? We're gonna go get this hog that I shot. Uh -huh. uh, 
I don't know how big it is. I underestimate hogs every time I shoot them, so. I think it's like 100 pounds. Everybody else thinks it's like double that. Let's go find out. <laughs> All right, so I was in that tree right over there in between those two uh, lowest branches. And he came in from this like island that's back there that I hunted on the first day, which is where I saw him as well. And he came across the field here. And then I guess there's like a trail going through here. All I could see was bushes shaking as he came through here. And then I kind of saw him like right here. And he came to, to this trail. And from, from there, this is I think 28 yards. And he kept coming, and then I ran the down like one of these bushes, and it was like 23 yards, and then he just kept coming. So then I just went first pin, and he, he got behind this stuff. But where's that tree that I was talking about? It's right over here, where you passed it. Oh. Anyway, he came through here, and then uh, he like stopped right here, and he was like, yeah, like, he was like gnawing on this tree right here. I could see him. Through here, and they popped out right here and stuck them right here. Here's my arrow. <coughs> so, this was the first arrow. You can see it only went in to like there because I hit the spine. Um, yeah, there's like muscle blood on there. Um, and then he like scrambled with his front legs and got in all this thick stuff, I couldn't see him. And then he eventually popped out over there somewhere and I put a second arrow in him. Let's go check it out. There he is, oh God. No, he's not that big. The balls are. <laughs> you saw the nuts and you were like, yeah, he's big. So, there he is. It will do. That's not too bad. There's I say it's about 100 pounds. Yeah, maybe 80. That's what I was thinking. So this is the second arrow. This is the back of it. Because he was, he was rolled over and I stuck it through. I'm sure my broadhead's in the ground somewhere. Mush, mush, mush. A little more your way. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye forever. All right, guys, we're heading back home with a freezer full of meat. Um, didn't get my buck, but I'm gonna keep on going. I uh, still got quite a bit of time to get that buck. But I am pretty happy to check this off the list. This is the first time I shot a big hog uh, with my bow, so that was awesome. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you like the content, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna support the channel a little bit more, go check out our merch store. Uh, there's a link down in the description, or you can go check out our Patreon page. Uh, that's patreon.com slash swamp and stomp there you can make a small monthly donation that really helps out the channel uh, but you also get some cool stuff we send you some merch uh, you get access to uh, a lot of our videos early on we have a uh, Facebook group that we can discuss uh, hunting tactics and all that stuff um, we're constantly uh, trying to figure out new ways to do things for our patreon members we also do giveaways uh, and you get lots of extra entries if you become a Patreon member. So think about doing it. The link's right there. And with that, we'll catch you guys next week.